Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Maria. Today's video is a Dollar Tree Halloween Farmhouse DIY Home Decor. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up three different sizes of pumpkins. I got a large, medium, and small. I'm going to paint my pumpkin white, so I'm going to remove the stem. Um, you can throw it away or save it, whatever you want to do with it. You won't need it. I am using my Waverly chalk paint in white. So depending on the decor you have at home, um, if you want to match it or do what I did. What I did was I grabbed a small paintbrush and black paint and I just, just painted on the dips of the pumpkin. As you can see here, my lines are not even. So what I did to cover that up, I just distressed the pumpkin. Um, whatever paint was left over in my paintbrush, that's what I used. For the next pumpkin, um, I really didn't do anything but take off the stem. I didn't do anything because the pumpkin was already orange. Um, I wanted to match the things I already had. For my third pumpkin, all I did was take off the stem and the price tag. I'm going to use some of my leftover tool. I cut a square piece off and I'm going to wrap it around the pumpkin and use a rubber band to tie it at the top. Dollar Tree carries a lot of different things you can use for the base. Um, I just decided to recycle this candle jar I had. If you don't have a spray paint, um, you can paint this with acrylic paint. I just use my spray paint. Using some more tools so it won't be too plain, I'm going to cut a piece off and stick it inside. You want to cut the piece big enough so you can have some sticking out. Once the first pumpkin was down, um, I just glue the other pumpkin right on top of the other one. To decorate my topiary, I'm going to use these spiders I have. These are from Dollar Tree. I've used these in several other DIYs. Okay, so for my next DIY, I'm going to use this sign from Dollar Tree. This sign is friends gather here. It's a square sign. I am going to paint the back white using my apple barrel acrylic paint in white. I'm using these poster stickers from Dollar Tree. Instead of transferring the, the words, I'm just going to use these. Okay, so what I did at the end was added lines to the board. If you want to add the lines before you put the letters, it will be better and easier. So because I didn't have enough letters um, of the same font, I decided to draw in and be and scary instead using a tiny brush and black paint you want to go over the letters if you have a paint marker you can just use it it'll be easier I 
I wanted the word scary to be dripping down blood, or at least to look like it was. I'm just drawing some squiggly lines down. I'm going to glue this mesh tube around the square. I'm going to add a bow to the corner. This ribbon's from Dollar Tree. After finishing this, um, I decided that I wanted the back to look like wood. So what I did, I just removed all the, the decoration I had. I didn't remove the letters. So all I did was did some lines over it. I used my ruler or this paint stir stick. I'm going to distress the sign using this brush and black paint. For my next DIY, I'm going to reuse these picture frames. I did these cones in a DIY video and during springtime, I just took off the flowers and I'm going to remove the candle jar that I use. These are five by seven picture frames. Um, Dollar Tree carries them. I'm going to also use these skeleton garland. I got these at Dollar General. I believe Dollar Tree carries these too. Um, I'm just gonna leave them the same color they were. You can always paint them. I'm adding a small amount of glue to the butt and then a small amount of glue to the head. I'm not gluing the whole skeleton on the frame. For the next skeleton, I wanna make it look like it's hanging. So all I did was bend the hands up and glue the little hands. To decorate the picture frame, I'm going to add the pumpkin to the corner. For the other skeletons, um, I glued one standing up and then I glued one sitting on top of the picture frame. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up their biggest picture frame they have. I already have one, so I'm going to recycle it and use it. For the back, you want to use a black poster board or a foam board. Mine already came like that. Using my Apple Barrel Paint in White, I'm going to paint the back. Before you start painting it, if you want, you can remove the stand. Um, I didn't. I don't know why I did it after. 
but yeah, you want to remove this then. Before doing the lines, I would had painted a pumpkin face. I didn't like it, so that's why you can see it poking through. After that, I just grabbed my pencil and drew some lines and then went over them with a paint marker. This next step is optional. You can either glue all the flowers to the picture frame or what I did is I used a string to tie all the flowers together. So like that, I can use this picture frame later on when Christmas comes. The way I hang the flowers to the picture frame is I loosen the back so then I can Put the string through the crack and I can tie a knot in the back and it won't fall. I added a small amount of glue so then I can remove it and I can use it for Christmas. And that is all for today guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe please let me know how you like my voiceovers i'm still getting used to it so thank you